you're hanging around the internet trying to get as much information as you can about the Mila Triflex HX1. I'm guessing here, but maybe your upright vacuum cleaner uh, is just way too heavy on your hands and shoulders and it's just killing you every time you vacuum. Maybe your central vacuum hose too long, too cumbersome to take up and down the stairs. Maybe your canister is not following you along the way it used to. Maybe you just decided to cut the cord. For whatever reason, your existing vacuum cleaner sucks and not the way it should. Whatever brought you here, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about these vacuums. As a matter of fact, we tested the heck out of them. And originally we thought, well, these are great vacuum cleaners for quick pickups around the kitchen table. Yeah, they're cordless, they're bagless, right? Easy, quick. Boy, were we wrong. Not only they would do that, obviously, they could do your whole house no matter what. Stick around. Everything you need to know will tell you about, and maybe, just maybe, vacuuming doesn't have to be a chore anymore. <laughs> But is this really Mila's newest line of vacuum cleaners when it comes to stick vacuums? It is not. As a matter of fact, Mila's been making stick vacuum cleaners since 1952. That's over 70 years ago. Now, keep that in mind. Stick vacuum cleaners, a battery operated bagless versions of, have been around since, I wanna say 2006. They've been around for over 15 years. Now. Get the 70 year experience Mila's got with making stick vacuum cleaners and them monitoring the market in the last 15 years because they've definitely taken their time to come up with this model. They've put all of that together and they've realized, well, as far as stick vacuums are concerned, this is pretty much the only thing you're gonna get, this configuration. Doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna get a machine that's battery operated and a bagless in this exact configuration, right? There's a couple of good things about this. It was easy to reach under stuff. It was really, really good to clean up quick messes quickly. All right, but there is a couple of issues with this type of configuration. One is, I can't drop it. No, I didn't mean to break a thousand dollar vacuum, but the other problem is what if I need to move things around and I can't make this stand anywhere on its own, anywhere. Literally, or the only option I have is to lean it against the wall. So that's one issue. The second issue is these configurations tend to be heavy. As a matter of fact, this exact vacuum changes its weight by 50% from one configuration to another. I'll show you that in a second. The third was the fact that you have no option but to put it on its mounting charge, which is mounted on the wall. So you're putting screws under the wall. There is no other way to do it. So they've come up with a better idea. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I wanna show you a magic trick. This vacuum itself in a reach configuration weighs just over 4.5 pounds. As a matter of fact, I think the last time I tested it, it was just over 4.8 pounds. Can the same vacuum lose 50% of its weight in three moves? I wish I could do that. One, two, three. All we've done is we've transferred the weight down to the bottom. I would say 50% of the weight is gone in one shot. Where is it? Still the same vacuum cleaner, right? That is seven years worth of engineering, German engineering. As a matter of fact, these machines are made in Germany, in Milo's own factories. Now I have half the pressure on my hand and shoulders. And is it still reachable underneath stuff? Yeah, it lays flat as a matter of fact. And what if I wanted to go get a cup of water? Do I need to lay it against anything? No. What if I just didn't want to put any holes in my walls? 
Well, can I charge it like that? Absolutely you can. So the idea is this, this is not new. This configuration was, you know, the reach configuration is not a new idea. This by itself is not a new idea. But the fact that Amila has come up with a way for you to be able to choose which configuration works best for you, that's new. <laughs> Now, all that said and done, what is this vacuum good for? What kind of applications can you use it with? Any home, follow me, that's got any type of a bare floor that can be hardwood, ceramic, laminate, tiles, what have you, and carpets, and area rugs, and pet hair, right? So there is really no limit to its application. Anything you got, this vacuum will take care of. We're gonna show you how it works, as a matter of fact, on the different surfaces we just talked about. We have some low pile carpeting right here. So let's test this on low pile carpets first. We got here some rice, some poppy seeds, and a whole bunch of stuff. Well, that's pretty generous, I would say. Should we start this on a low suction setting? There are three suction settings with all these models. Let's see how we do on the first suction setting, which is the lowest. Just a piece of cake. Honestly, it's ridiculously easy. This is ridiculously easy. It's a joy to use. As a matter of fact, the power head on these models are smart. They're smart power heads. They can detect the resistance, whether it's on bare floors, on low pile carpets, or on higher pile carpets, and it'll adjust itself accordingly. Now, let's try some ground coffee on these bare floors, just for a point of reference. Can I? Let's spread it out and let's be generous. We're going to try three different suction settings, low, medium, and high. Medium. And high. I know I've already cleaned up the mess. I just really like using this thing. Okay, now we got bare floors covered and we got low pile carpets covered, but not all of us just have low pile commercial carpets and bare floors. Some of us have actual carpets at home, right? Something a little thicker. Let's try it on a thicker pile carpets. Just to see how it does. So this is a thicker pile carpet we could find around here. We got some black seat. Hopefully the contrast will give us a good idea of what kind of a job the Triflex is gonna do on thicker pile carpets. Low suction setting first? Yeah, let's try that. I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm gonna go with a higher suction setting, the medium with this one. I wanna make sure this is, it's actually very hard because if you go against the, um, the grain, these things will actually start flying around. So let's see how that does. Medium suction setting.
All right. I love this thing. All right. Now we're going to try the highest suction setting. I'm going to try to step on these seats to see if I can have them in the piles. I get a little bit of a snow plow there. It's getting a little harder to push this back and forth. It's a little too much suction, but I see, see how the grain of carpet is changing. Every, I can actually leave marks. Don't you love this when that happens on a carpet? You leave marks on the carpet with a battery operated machine. This thing is an absolute joy to use. Although I would stay away from the highest suction settings on thicker pile carpets, it's a little too much power, it'll stick. It'll stick to the carpets a little too hard. So the first and the second suction settings will should do you just fine on thicker pile rugs and carpets. All right, I don't know what else to try with this. I mean, we've tried the ground coffee on bare floors. We've tried the rice and the seeds on carpet. Kitchen messes, it can happen. That was great, medium. Let's see if we get that. It's just, it's like it's too easy for this machine. I wanna try the front. Let's see if we get any edge to edge cleaning from the front. So we get edge to edge cleaning on the left, on the right, and at the front of the electro brush. How about if we go under stuff? You know, we have furniture, furniture legs and things like that. I'm sure that's where we're gonna get stuck. As a matter of fact, I think if we're gonna get stuck, it's gonna be in this comfort configuration. So let's try that. <laughs> Coffee under the light. Try. That is pretty good. It lays flat, even in the comfort position. You know what? There is no need at all for that configuration. Actually, there is. Okay, now with the reach configuration, and this is, by the way, how you go from the comfort configuration to the reach. Uh, we're going to take this out first. There we go. The handle comes out. Right we go. Now I can actually switch configurations in 10 seconds. I think we should have a race on how fast we could do that. Now here we are at the reach configuration. The whole idea with this type of configuration is when you're trying to go underneath beds, furniture. Okay, it's fantastic. This thing is absolutely fantastic. The comfort, the comfort configuration is still my absolute favorite, but there are instances where I can see where you would need the reach configuration, which would work a lot better. And that would be something like this. Now I can see why you would need this.
I guess that's the reason they call it the reach configuration. All right, and obviously you have just the handheld configuration as well, which will give you three different types of configurations. And that's again, where Triflex comes from. I've seen this before. And this is perfect. So we've covered the, 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 the comfort configuration, we've covered the reach configuration, we've covered the, the handheld configuration, and I just came up with a fourth configuration. So I officially declare this the Quattro Flex. Watch this, especially if you have carpeted stairs, you're gonna love this. Can I have some dirt? All right, so what specialty stairs? You, you know, it's gonna be difficult to, to use anything. But if you have the handheld, right <laughs> to the electro brush. And it's self-standing. Listen, quite frankly, uh, you can't help but be impressed by this. So far, it's done everything I've thrown at it, everything we could have thought of. I mean, everything we've had close by, we've thrown at it and it's done a great job. But one of the most important things when it comes to stick cordless vacuum cleaners, especially cordless vacuum cleaners, is how much juice they've got. All right, the battery, the battery is a huge thing. Well, the official runtime on the Triflex 8 one series, regardless of which model you go with, uh, for the one battery is 60 minutes but there is a caveat to that it's 60 minutes on the handheld position all right and I, I, I add the lowest suction the reality of the game is on the second setting with the electro brush attached you're looking at 34 minutes now that's a lot more realistic because you could take care of the whole house in 34 minutes as long as you have the electro brush now on a high suction setting with the electro brush, you have 17 minutes of runtime. Okay? Now there's two ways you're gonna use this vacuum. You either have another vacuum cleaner that you use on weekly basis or every 10 days to deep clean the house, and you're going to, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna keep this around for maintenance throughout the weeks around the kitchen table. Funniest thing about this is, obviously this battery it can be purchased. You can always buy an extra battery. I think it's about 150 bucks. Or you go with the top of the line model, the HX1 Pro, which actually comes with a second battery and its own charger. So you get two charging packs and you get two batteries. So you're not stuck, all right? That's the whole option. That's the whole part of convenience. Now the battery was actually made by Varta out of Germany. Varta, a couple of quick facts, was founded in 1887. Two quick facts about it. In 1969, Neil Armstrong, the man on the moon, the battery that he used to take pictures in his camera was by Varta. And the second thing is Varta actually has a venture with VW, the auto manufacturer for the electric cars. All right, so it is a very, very established, just like Mila, a very established company. They've been around for a long time. They have operations throughout Europe, East Europe, and Germany. And then Mila has got them making batteries for the Triflex. All right, so that's as far as batteries. Now, what does the Triflex HX1 come with? The electro brush, the wand, the motor, and the dustbin. And you get three accessory tools with them in a very neatly, nicely done accessory holder, which actually has indicators as to where everything goes. You get three accessory tools. And these are standard accessory tools, a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and an upholstery tool. Now this is a wider upholstery tool that you would get with the rest of the Milo vacuums, the canisters and whatnot, which is a really nice touch. 
you may ask, oh, I, at the same time, hey, obviously you're gonna get the charging station and the cord to plug it into the wall. Just to go back and re, uh, uh, remind you, you do have the option to have the charging station installed or attached to your wall. You could have the vacuum sit on the charging station in the comfort uh, configuration in the reach configuration or you don't want to put screws on your walls put holes in the walls no problem this is a self-standing machine so you don't need to put screws into the wall unless if you want to most other manufacturers can say that. can the cup be bigger it's a half a liter capacity yes you could fill it you know you can fill it up and empty it out 10 times a day doesn't matter you're not going out there to purchase bags could it a bit bigger? Yes, but the downside to that would be would be heavier. You are gathering more dirt and dust in there. So uh, keeping that in mind, I'd say you'd be just fine uh, with this particular size. As far as taking it out, all you do is twist this left anti or as it anti-clockwise, uh, and then you'd be taking the cut container from the machine. And then all you have to do is go full on uh, so anyways putting this back on uh, the lid you hold up you go clockwise about that much put this back on the place and then lock it in and that should be all you have to do to dispose of the dirt uh, what they've done is it's extremely simple to maintain this brush roll. There's a little button back here. Push it to the left and it allows you to open up that, which then gives you complete access to the brush roll. And that's all there is to it, really, nothing else. Uh, putting it back is extremely easy. All you have to do is make sure it's in here and that's it, really. There's really nothing much to do that. It also ensures that it doesn't scratch your floors. Now that's vinyl, we've done laminate, even if you have really good quality hardwood floors, the uh, brush head here is sitting on top of four rubber, rubber wheels. Sitting on top of four rubber wheels. One, two, three, and four. So those are the only thing, the only uh, four points touching the floor and they're non-marking rubber. The Triflex comes with, just like any other meal vacuum, five-year warranty on everything, seven-year warranty on um, the motor, and you get two-year warranty on the battery. So again, when you purchase from us, not only do you get the video on how to, you know, the tips and tricks, how to put this thing together, we also the warranty center. Uh, as far as color, the HX1 Triflex comes in Lotus White. That's the only color it comes in. Okay, um, shipping free across Canada, all Canadian provinces. We do have a secured website that you can check out on. You could come on, chat with us on, on the website. You could give us a call or you could email us. Toll free number 1-877-220-5656. Subscribe to our channel, like us, buy this thing. If you don't absolutely love it, bring it back. You have 30 days, no questions asked. Thank you.